Hi everyone, welcome to the Fire Mountain Gems and Beads Jewelry Making Studio. So we've just completed making this St. Petersburg stitch, really pretty little stitch, but now I want to show you how you can take this and turn it into this. This is the double St. Petersburg stitch and it starts by making a simple single St. Petersburg stitch. In fact, I'm going to take this piece right here that I just created and we're going to build on it. Still going to use the same beads. We're going to be using the size 8 gold seed beads and the size 11 green seed beads. And here we go. So I'm going to start the double St. Petersburg the same way I started the St. Petersburg by making that gold bead on the end into a stop bead. Stop bead, I go through the gold bead and then I go through the gold bead again to form a loop, almost like a knot, that sort of holds my thread in place so that as I'm working, my thread doesn't come sliding through very easily. If I pull it very hard, yes, it will slide through. Now I'm going to add six green seed beads so that I have a middle to go through. I'm going to go through the middle two to form that little, a little four bead loop or a four bead flower or whatever you want to call it, but four beads in a little circle. Pull those down to your work. Not too hard. We don't want to pull the strand out of the stop bead. Then we're going to add one more one more green seed bead and go back through three of these beads. Three of them. And pull all that tight. And now I'm going to go through this gold bead right here and just like we do on the single St. Petersburg, I'm going to gracefully go through these two outlier beads without twisting in with all my tails and other things I've got there. There we go. And that's what it's supposed to look like. It looks kind of like a fern frond or something like that. And then we can do it again. Add four green seed beads. One, two, three, four. Pull those all the way down to your work. Now we make that little four petaled flower by going through these two middle beads. Through the two middle beads. And form that little four petaled flower. Pull that all the way down to your work so that there's no slack in your thread. Add one more of the small green seed beads. Go back through these three. Just three of them. And pull that all the way down. No slack in our work. Keep the tension right. Go back through the gold. Not back through, sorry. Go through the gold. And through those two little outlier beads, the outside of those, that petal we had. Go through both of them. Preferably not stabbing your finger while you do it. There we go. And there's another stitch. We're going to keep doing that. I'll do one more. Make sure you guys got it. Add four seed beads, one, two, three, four. Pull that down to your work. Make the little four, four petaled flower by going through the middle two seed beads. There's our four petaled flower. Pull it all the way down to your work. Add one more seed bead, one of the little green ones. Go back through these three beads. 
pull that through. Then up through the next gold bead. And through the two outlier seed beads. I find if I turn this upside down, I have a little bit easier time. The two outlier beads. Pull all that through. And there you go. Keep working at it. And pretty soon, you end up with this. Or go a little further and end up with that. So there you have it. St. Petersburg stitch, double St. Petersburg stitch, and another version of St. Petersburg stitch. Thank you so much for joining me at the Fire Mountain Gems and Beads Jewelry Making Studio. Check out FireMountainGems.com for other resources regarding seed beading and how to end these stitches. Lots of different ways you can go about it. I hope you enjoy the stitch and I'd love to see what you make. Happy beading.